Ladies and gentlemen of, uh, well, the interwebs, it is uh, live stream Evo Zax, episode 1.1 for those that care. How does it work? Well, I live stream. Um, yes, uh, last night I published a video, so it became uh, one. Uh, this is the first live stream after the video, so it's 1.1. Uh, all the live streams before the published video um, is 0 0.1 up to 0 0.5. So that is how you keep track. Yeah. Excellent. So I am working on the X as normal. Apparently, I don't have anything else to do. This is what we're building. Yeah. I, uh, you can see I've darkened that section of the X head. And, uh, well, before I continue the carving, I need to uh, stipple the background. So that is taking some time. Yeah, I start working on the on the other side and actually sculpting that. I started on the front there and then got bored. So I'm back to stippling. The stippling do, however, take some serious time. Yeah. Uh, yes, I know if I sit here, I'm completely washed out. But that is purely for that there. Yeah. As I am recording this lot. Um, and then the angle there. And then me here. Yeah, so we've got two cameras on the X at all time. And then me. Yeah. So, Mitch, how's it going, buddy? Wim Mitch, he says, hello, Wim Niels. Uh, let me just start this recording. Yeah. Hello, Wim Niels, he says. <laughs> buddy, you are, like me, part of the Old Farts Club. Yeah. It's... Is what happens when you start getting great. And no one, no one is telling me that my one side of my beard is longer than the other one. Because apparently I scorched it. Yeah. I don't look at a mirror, man. Now, this whole video yesterday. Oh, I edited that thing, didn't even pick up on it. Shows you how much I'm looking at. Yeah. Jacques, how's it going, buddy? Right, sorry, man. My mic is all the way out there in the middle of freaking nowhere. How's it going, guys? That should be a hell of a lot better. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> exactly. 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 All right. So uh, what are we doing? Let me just get that out of the way. We are working on, look at that microphone. That's some styling stuff right there. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring the mic into the side and then adjust it. Sorry, I'm so prepared for this lot, it is not even true. So just get it out a shot of uh, my red cam, which I've now bumped. This is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. And then uh, green cam is me and white cam is that one there. And yeah, so um, I don't know what the stippling is going to sound like. So let's let's do a bit of a practice. That's it. So the stippler that I'm using is uh, a really, really cheap, 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 this one, man. Um, I can't even remember where I bought this. I think this was at Checkers Hyper, of all places. Yeah, it was really cheap. This thing was like, man, if it was 60 South African Rand, it is a lot. Yeah, so um, I don't even know what that equates to in dollars. It's, it's not even worth it, man. That's not even worth it. Duncan, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> yes, it is. It is. <laughs> Grant, how's it going, dude? Uh, thank you for popping me your YouTube channel details, yeah? Um, so uh, if anyone's interested, Grant has started a YouTube channel, channel yeah? So um, give the guy some love. Grant, uh, post me your link to the YouTube channel right here on uh, the feed, please, sir. Sean. No, Manny. There, there's only an old fart club. There's no young fart club. <laughs> uh, what else there? Oh, dude, you picked up on that. <laughs> See, that's a designer. He'll he'll do that. Duncan, so free, three pounds. Three pounds. I still don't know what that is in dollars. But, uh, yeah. Zander, thanks, buddy. That's appreciated, man. Jamie, how's it going, buddy? Sean. Toy for, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, uh, this is a little toy for getting your point across. Yeah. So, how does it work? 
where you've got multiple dials that sets the speed, oscillation, and stuff, and you've got an on-off switch. Uh, it's got a carbide tip, and whatever you point this thing into, it's going to make a mark. So a lot of guys are using this to mark their tools and to like write their names. And I've seen guys referring uh, to this as engraving. It is not. Yeah, this is just like stippling. It's not engraving. So without any further hiccups, whatever, let's do that. Flip that around. Yep. See what happens. So I am going to be doing uh, that section there. We'll get rid of uh, there. Hope you guys can see. And all you want to do is small little circles. Small little circles. Even pressure. You do not want to do straight lines. If you keep full, this thing will just jackhammer into the steel. So if you need to sharpen up little corners where I have to, yeah, then that thing works like a freaking charm. So obviously not the best little tool uh, to have a conversation with, yeah, uh, but it is uh, handy. If uh, your wife is arguing, having an argument with you, and you can go, blah, 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 yes, my darling. And then, uh, well, you just do your thing, yeah? There's just a, another odd minute to this. Then uh, I want to show you, I've, I've tasted a new product today. Let me just finish this little thing. Right, so now that one there specifically, um, I actually cut like my ass. So you go and you get yourself a little marker and you go and mark the thing because that there I need to cut deeper. Yeah. So uh, I'm not sure whether it'll actually show it, but that little section there I need to cut deeper. I never did a bevel in there, so uh, this thing is kind of swooped up in this fashion. So, I mean, I, mean, I can, can now go in with a stippler and actually just undercut that. Let me show you. Yeah, that is a technique. Um, but it, you end up going over that same line multiple times. Get rid of the pieces that is popping off. Man, I'm wasting my time here. I, I just need to recut that. I, I really just need to recut. So let me see if I've got a flexi shaft with uh, a point already set. Do I maybe? Uh, what's this little diamond tip? Maybe that'll do it. 
So let's see. Where the hell is it? Where is it, man? No, oh, this diamond clip is too far. You know, this diamond clip I'm using, as you can see there, to smooth out the carving, getting rid of uh, more aggressive stuff. Smoothing things over. But that's not what we're supposed to be doing now. Not at all. Oh, look, Mom, a squirrel. That's not exactly what I should be doing right now. Yeah, so, uh, no, that's the wrong tip. Maybe a small little ball burn might work. I keep on losing the friggin' spot. Oh, come on. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. See, this one I never got in. I actually cleaned up any one of those spots. And the whole idea is, is with this little ball burst is to get the surface as flat as possible. Yeah, and once I've done that, I can find the flat. There we go. And now I can go and once again find that and with this oak dough and do an undercut. Well, it's not really an undercut, but it gives me a nice sharp little corner. And that is what I'm looking for. And this one's pretty much the same as a, a two fluted end mill. Well, well, a fluted end mill, where you've got tips sitting at the, the, the end. Um, so when I use this in that fashion against something with the bottom of uh, the burr, it'll actually flatten it up. Yeah. So it looks like it's been milled, which is cool. Yeah. Uh, and then I can put my original carver back. So all I have is I've got multiple hand pieces with uh, bits already fitted to them. Yeah, so there's four here. There's another three that I can pull if I really need to. I also have little, uh, just little quick latch things on the side of my bench where I can just flip them in and so they're not all over the place at my bench is all nice and clean and stuff. All right, so let's see who else is in here, man. Uh, I have no idea where we're at, man. Three dollars eighty. Thanks, Duncan. That's appreciated, dude. Uh, all right. So, uh, Grant, there you go. Click on that link. Yeah. So, uh, in Facebook, uh, on my personal profile, uh, you will find that Grant has popped that link to his um, his YouTube channel. Yeah. Go and support the guy, man. Have a look at what he's up to. Uh, once again, thank you, Robert. That's appreciated, man. Uh, or you can just go and Grant Stain Forge. Go and search on, on uh, well, YouTube. Grant Stain Forge. Yeah, just don't do what I did and just go search for Grant Stain. Um, and then having to uh, what's up the dude and say, hey, buddy, I know that you did this. Zian, how's it going, man? Um, I know that you started a YouTube channel. How's it going, Nathan? Um, but what's the URL, buddy? Benjamin, how's it going, brother? Xander. 
Uh, it, it, it is actually the mic is really good. Yeah. So uh, I mean, I'm working right here, and it's going to pick it up, and the whole works. Um, but it, the pitch is very low, so you don't actually hear it. Uh, I'm as deaf as uh, anything out there, man. So uh, yeah, Monet, block some. <laughs> that sums it up nicely. Thanks, brother. <coughs> <laughs> I like that. How's it going? We've got weird and wonderful people. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Thanks, brother. I keep on losing wherever I'm working. So uh, what, what does help? Yeah. Um, but I don't want to show it, man. I don't want to show how short my attention span is. Um, so I've got a, a green marker. So I'm going to work an area. I'll go and say, okay, see now that, that that's the area. That I'm going to be working because you, you get where everything is the same color, yeah. Um, and you're working in a, in a certain spot, and uh, what happens is uh, you you look away to change a bit or uh, grab a cigarette, cup of coffee, or whatever, and you look back and you you you, look, you can't see where you work last because the whole idea is to get the entire thing the same uh, tone, right? So I'm going to do that little spot there. So let me finish that. Let me get my clicker. What the hell is it? What did they do with it, man? Oh, here we go. So let's do this quickly. Not the green spot, but that little corner that we were working earlier. Obviously, there's some carving that still needs to happen down there. And we'll get to that in a moment. But it gets to a point where you, you literally can't see what you're doing anymore. Because uh, everything turns to a trade of, uh, well, signing. Come on, go back in your holster. All right, and then I've got my carving tip. But whatever, uh, we're working there. So we're just going to put this soak in a bit of a dye there. I'm going to blend it. my hand in the way. Nope. Come on. Quite a bit of bending, bending, blending that still needs to happen. Especially on these risers and uh, where they dip. Because uh, obviously everything is at the same level at the moment. And that's not the idea. Um, the whole idea is to have them snake up and over. Yeah, so uh, obviously this one needs to be lower than everything else. Um, so as I'm finishing the background on a certain area, I'm working uh, the surrounding area. And that looks a hell of a lot better. That is a lot smoother. All right, so the product, let, let's get to that. So let me just clean this up. Yeah, done. Clean the table because I need to put my hands on there, my arms. 
Well, I don't need to, but I do. And you end up digging them out of your forearms, which is not fun. Clean off the observer. Put that back on spot. Well, see now, when I work alone, done. But if I need to talk to people, this one just makes me sound like a dude talking through a mask. Yeah. And then I'm going to get an idiot on, on YouTube telling me, oh, your sound really sucks. No, it doesn't. Okay, so that's why I don't wear this when I talk to you. So the videos, you'd rarely see me wearing uh, PPE. doesn't mean that I'm a fucking idiot. I wear it, yeah? It's just when I talk to people, it's very rude. Damn it, you can also, uh, you can't hear it anymore. So, but anyway. Um, and it doesn't help skimping. Yeah, I've got one life. I really like it. So, well, that's, that's it. Yeah, I, I really like what I do, man. Uh, Jacques, damn, who's <laughs> saying, uh, <coughs> okay, we're, we're quickly gonna run through this. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks, Manny. I, it's appreciated, man. Uh, Mickey, how's it going? Sorry, I've got my camera right in front of the freaking comments here. Yeah? Um, so it looks like I'm looking at you guys when I'm reading the comments. Uh, but if you follow my eyes, no, I'm not. Uh, will that axe get a brother? Uh, Aubrey, no, 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 no. I only make one of them, man. So for the the game builds, I only build one. Done. Broken Spear of Leonidas, uh, built one. Done. Um, not my problem if you guys two years ago didn't pay attention. Yeah, that was one sweet freaking build, man. That thing came out absolutely phenomenal. Um, Lawrence, yeah, man. Um, so apparently we're over. Uh, I, I don't know if I should say. Uh, but the, the entry's looking looking really well. Yeah, really, really, really good, man. Um, so let's just go back to that one. Brother, welcome. Welcome all the way from and Argentina. Martin, how's it going, dude? L, how's it going, brother? All right, so I'm going to head back to Cam 3, Cam 2, Red Cam, and I want to show you the, the new product that I came across. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure whether I'm impressed yet. So, this is it. It's a new product. It's fucking expensive. This little tub was, uh, so 85 grams, three ounces, was uh, 700 rand. 700 South African rands. Um, but it is a paste. Yeah? She's like butter. It is a paste. So, let's just do, do white, and I can do that. Oh, come on. There we go. And you can see my dangly bits dangling on the side. <laughs> All right. So I've got a brush. This is what I was after. Okay. So you can use the, the standard uh, bluing. That's the one I prefer. Yeah. Perma blue, Birchwood Casey, the paste. I don't like the juice. Uh, I like the paste. This is the one that I'll probably end up using on the sacks. But to test, Keep in mind, it's not heat treated. Uh, so the harder the steel, the blacker it will get. But what really impressed me with this, and this is why I spent the money, was this. You can see I'm literally just touching the bristles. All right, I'm going to wipe the excess off. So there is a bit on the brush, but now look at this. As soon as I brush, it goes funking black. Yeah, that's good. But now as I continue brushing, it loses potency. So you just dab again, and you go in, and you go in, 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 in. So I can actually now do a proper French blue. Um, so for the guys that don't know what that is, gas a Frenchman. Yeah, no, not really. It is layering um, the the shade of blue. So I don't, I, I rarely want everything the same color. Yeah. So uh, initially, you'll you'll make everything just bleh, black. Yeah. Why? Because that's apparently what we do. To make stuff black. Yeah, so I'm just going to blue the entire freaking thing now. Now, marker, uh, that little marker there is actually a resist. So, um, theoretically, and uh, but I see that this is the thing. I can I can brush this into detail. Yeah, now I'm brushing over the edge. Don't worry about that. Yeah, that's just me being, uh, well, 
doing this like my ass. So I still need to do there. Uh, I still need to do that section. I still need to do all of this, but we'll brush it in any case. Yeah. So without the texture in the background, you can see that it, it just goes quick. Yeah. And then it's going to start drying and it's going to do its thing. But that was it. That was, God, man, if I use the paste, uh, like what I'm used to, um, that was a uh, half little bottle done. Yeah, but then I know that stuff is blue, it's dark, it's done, it is, it's in there, it is set for life. This I still am yet to use. On, and I haven't read the instructions, maybe I should do that as well. Um, but it, it, any chemical bluing likes uh, 30 degrees Celsius, bladder, bladder, bladder. So heating up this thing um, and then bluing will make a difference. Um, what I'm now going to do is I'm not going to sit around and wait for it to dry because it's not critical at this stage. So I'm just going to wipe the excess off. And you obviously want to do uh, this wearing gloves, yeah, especially if you're going to be using your fingers. I am not using my fingers, so don't be that guy. All right, double zero, double with zero steel wool, and you rub, you rub, rub. So that just gives you an even tone, same blackness throughout. And if you now notice my green marker, that's still sitting there. So I wonder if we grab a bit of acetone, it'll take it off. And you'll notice that I can, with it, everything that I need is within arms. Ah, look at that. The voyage of discovery is freaking awesome. See that little clean spot right there? Oh, crap. Let me, where's the camera? See that little clean spot right there? That little silver spot? Oh, come on, focus, ass. See that there? That was a resist caused by the, the marker. So I've got bluing on there, still on my brush. So there we go. Now it's gone. Yeah, but that was a cool little thing. Oh, I didn't know. I, I suspected it would work, but uh, never tested that. Damn. That's going to be cool. All right, so obviously you can now dip this in acetone. You preferably want to put the acetone in a little doppy. Um, so in other words, it'll now dilute the the, the uh, bluing compound yeah but i'm not trying to dilute the bluing compound or get a special uh thing happening i want to clean my brush yeah but i don't want to waste the stuff that's on there so there we go my little brush is now clean so it can go into uh its little bed we're going to wipe off the excess, now using a bit of acetone that's on the rag. Yeah. And then uh, double zero, double zero steel wool again. And just make everything nice and shiny. Yeah, but now to get the highlight contrast like I have there, I will need to go and take this to uh, my big-ass high-speed buff. But it would be cool if I copper-plated that background. Yeah, then tarnish that. You see that green tinge it has. I'm liking that. And then I would copper plate this. Then uh, um, do a stinky um, uh, a raw uh, well, a cooked egg. Oh come on, come on, liver of sulfur. You could do a liver of sulfur tan on this, um, and then uh, uh, copper, then liver of sulfur. Um, that'll turn it bluish. If you do, uh, what is the stuff? I'm looking at it, man. I can't read that for ammonia. It'll turn it green. Yeah, so that slight green tinge. Uh, maybe it's just my bad eyes. Yeah, but that slight green tinge that the patina has, that'll get rid of that. Um, or you can make it that. So the, the patinas are cool. Patinas are cool. I'm kind of off uh, topic, but I, I like patinas. Yeah, so um, that, that's it. That's just my entire day, yeah? In my entire freaking day so far. Um, thanks, brother. That is appreciated. Tip of time. Yeah, it is. But also, no. I, I want to grow it um, maybe a bit longer than this. Yeah. Maybe just a tad longer. There's a plan, man. There's a plan. Uh, we'll see if it, if it pans out in a week and a bit. Yeah. Uh, not even a miniature for a tourist price. Uh, oh, no. Uh, I can send you a photo of this <laughs> when it's done. Yeah. 
Uh, no, I, I don't think, I don't know. I'm not the organizer of the contest. Uh, I'm just the dude that makes the axe. Yeah. And that is looking very sweet. I'm, I am liking that. I really am. Um, as opposed to that side there, which is still really sucky. That side there is looking a hell of a lot more promising. Yeah. I'm liking that. I'm, I'm really, really digging that. So we'll put you on. How's that? No other way around. Yeah, so you can look at the X. Oh, come on, man. So let's bring this down because I'm not. I am recording now, but uh, you can look at that while we chat. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. It's appreciated, my brother. Uh... <laughs> Rob, good morning, sir. Uh, Mabel has knives. How's it going, brother? Thanks, man. Uh, you too. I'm, I'm teaching a class tomorrow. Introduction to bladesmithing. And, uh, well, I, I I am thinking of maybe doing a, another round bar knife tutorial. I had a, a good mate out here today um, wanting to forge a, well, a, a knife out of a round bar, but 12 mil, like really, really small round bar. Um, so doing it at a big ass 25 mil or one inch is, is not an issue drawing that heel back. But you know, as soon as you, you go smaller, every single freaking cubic millimeter of material actually matters. Um, I mean, just, just heating your steel up so much that you generate fire scale, you're actually losing material that you can't afford to lose because you need to move that into the heel and get the the, the, the edge actually spread out and, and, and that. So the smaller you go, the more intricate it becomes. Um, and... Uh, well, he got there, right? And, I, and I, I'm, I'm very proud to say that um, his third try, right, or his third version looked better than mine did. Yeah, see, that's why we're good mates. Because uh, I told him he's, he's one of the most intelligent guys I know. Um, and it's not just trying to butter him up. He is a fucking rocket science rocket scientist in uh, in disguise. Uh, we got through that, gone through that. Uh, G96 brand. G96, I'll, I'll keep an eye out from that, man. Um, but all the gun blue brands that, are, that we have locally is also made in the US. So that's not an excuse, Jack. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I don't know why the guys aren't bringing in the good stuff. Uh, the cheap ass stuff, that's it. But the, the really good stuff, uh, Froki, thanks, buddy. Um, the really cool stuff we, we can't find. Um, well, I don't even know what the, the name on this is. Oh, that is G96. That is the stuff, Jack. Yeah. G96, that's the stuff. Uh, dude, I'm, so far, I'm not impressed. But, like I said, that's just a, a half ass. So um, I'll give my mate Jack a call, buddy, and uh, then we can talk about this. Yeah, It was freaking expensive. Really, it was. Really, it was. And uh, I like it because it's a paste, and that's why I spent the money. Uh, but compared to Perma Blue, the result immediately... Perma Blue is kind of better, man. Uh, it just gives me a bit more hearty. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't even read the instructions yet. I uh, got that yesterday. Um, been wanting to play with it. I played with it just before I went live. And just from that, eh, not knowing what I'm doing, um, the Puma Blue is, is better. But like everything else, I reserve the right to, to change my mind. Yeah. So uh, once again, if Jack tells me this stuff is the best he's seen, I'm going to trust it. Yeah. Why? Goldsmith, black, uh, goldsmith, gunsmith, uh, knife maker, fellow guild member. Yeah, these two things that I'm not. So, dude, thank you. I will give you a call. Uh, it'll probably only happen on Sunday, which is when I'm, I'm going to plan to, uh, I don't know, hopefully get to a point where I can actually heat treat this thing, maybe on Monday. Um, and I need to get that info uh, just post heat treat, man. Frankie, thanks, buddy. Uh, Fritz. Dude, I, I'm I'm honored, but um, wait until you get to know me. <laughs> You'll be sadly disappointed, man. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, okay. So uh, I do understand. Uh, uh, I, I uh, more of a uh, open, open. Uh, uh, I don't want to say pause, but yeah, um, uh, but more of a texture system. Yeah. Okay. I will keep that in mind, man. I am planning on on uh, doing a blast on this thing. Um, so masking out and blasting, and maybe do a shadow blast on here as well. Uh, in other words, a a uh, uh, blasting, a uh, bead blast. Oh, bead blast, sand blast, not not freaking bead blast. Um, I haven't decided yet, man. Brad, but uh, the the finish is the thing that I, that really. Aussie mate, <laughs> thanks, brother. That's appreciated. Um, but uh, I, yeah, it is going to be etched. So it is going to be etched. Uh, there's going to be no bright and shiny. This is the shiniest thing you have seen ever. Yeah, I know in the game it's all nice and chromey and bladder, bladder, bladder. Yeah, trust me. There's a reason they make axes out of stainless steel. Yeah. Um, and if you've got a really shiny axe, uh, chances are that it is really a shitty quality axe and therefore it was chrome plated. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Brad, I'm doing well, brother. I am doing well. And yourself? Justin. Yeah, so uh, to get back to this, uh, the bucket deals. Yeah, dude, it's been a long week, man. It's been a long week. That um, editing that video yesterday, that thing kicked my ass. Now, you need to understand that the last serious video edit I did um, for my channel for anything was two years ago on that broken spear bolt. Um, in the meanwhile, I now I have a, a real machine that can handle the crunching. I actually uh, have real audio equipment. I have real cameras, blah, 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 blah. blah. I haven't spent time editing so to get to a 10 minute video it took me probably five and a half hours yeah i tell you no one has got enough money for me to edit videos but the problem is that i really enjoyed editing that video i really that that is fun yeah and and, and so much so that i'm thinking yeah if i were younger i might have ended up editing videos I don't know, but I really like it. Yeah, um, I probably ended up. Uh, see, I'm going to be one of those old farts and sit on his lawn, all right, and crap on kids walking past it. Now the problem is, I moved out of town, so I don't have kids walking past my lawn or over my lawn. I now have zebras and uh, blow wildebeest and and uh, well, my kids. Yeah, so uh, I don't know who I'm going to crap on. I can scream at a blow wildebeest until uh well the cows come home but yeah i, I would have been that oak yeah uh sitting on his porch and going get off my fucking lawn so i wanted to be that guy maybe i will end up being that guy just buying a property in town and just sit there on a friday afternoon when kids go home from school so i can scream at them that'll make me feel better um so i'll do that and then in my pastime if i'm not screaming at kids maybe then Maybe then I'll edit my home movies. Yeah. All right. So that was me talking crap. Yeah. Uh, Jackie saying uh, it would take. <laughs> Dude, all I can say is learn the shortcuts. Yeah. Learn the shortcuts. Uh, uh, Sean, that, that'll be a very boring live feed. Uh, I now have uh, five meter USB cables might have to happen yeah so i can get the cameras five meters away from the box uh the problem i had in recording in my grind room is that uh well i've got a really expensive really really fucking expensive pc um so um no more laptop uh, i just decided I, I don't want a laptop anymore um so i went in and spent some real money on a, on a proper machine that can handle the crunchy problem is it's a desktop yeah this thing has got five fucking fans built into it rgb it looks like a disco yeah um i promise you if you if you're epileptic uh you don't want to look at look at this computer box and the problem is that you can't buy them without these fucking rgb lights all over the place uh but that's a side story um when i had that machine in the in the grind room what the hell hold on Are we still live? I freaking hope so. Do the recording. Uh, oh, come on. Start re start recording. Oh, crap. 
Are we still going on this side? Yeah. Okay. So long story short, sorry, um, my, my uh, uh, OBS just stopped recording. I think it had its uh, full. It is now six and a half hours later. So um, it said done, and my, my all my screens went black. Just thinking, what the fudge? How did I lose everything? Okay, so um, I can't kill it because I'm streaming with the virtual cam. Um, and that's why I can do this, yeah. Uh, so open broadcast software, the stuff rocks, man. Um, so we want to be there so you can still oogle this one while we talk. <coughs> but anyway, so uh, Fraki, you're saying that your origins are from Denmark. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Um, yeah, man, have you entered the game, the competition? Keep in mind that there is a competition, yeah? Um, so there we go. Go and uh, do it and done this. Um, obviously, the prizes is uh, the axe made by me, yeah? This thing here, you can win it. Then uh, there's merch. There is an Xbox One, Xbox One X console. It's not even launched yet, man. That thing is a fucking fortune in itself. That, the game, the merch, plus the axe, all goes to one guy or gal. Yeah, one dude is going to win all that. I'm not allowed to enter. Yeah, otherwise I wouldn't be making these videos and telling you guys to go and enter. Yeah, because if I could enter, I would tell freaking no one. That that that's the honest. That's that's God honest truth. If I could enter this competition, I wouldn't tell any of you blokes. Seriously, because I want this thing. Not not. Well, that would be cool. Um, but I. <laughs> That would be cool. Yeah, come to think of it, on the back of the wall, right there, this thing will look awesome. Where the hell am I on something? That would look really awesome right there. Yeah, that would look cool. Who am I kidding? That would look cool. Um, and then I would play Fruit Ninja, Ninja every Friday with. Uh, but it's the copy of the game. It is the Xbox console. It is merch plus this freaking axe. Yeah? Do you want to take a wild stab of how much that is? <laughs> That's some real fucking money. Get your ass over there. Uh, click on the description in this video or the live feed, wherever you're looking at, just look at the comments, the, not the comments, the description section there. Eh? There's a link. Go and enter the competition. It's easy as that. Man. Easy as that. Go and enter the freaking competition. Still live. Yeah, man, we are. Uh, thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I had a bit of a heart attack there. Uh... <laughs> That's an inside joke. Sorry, man. Uh, Fritz. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that, man. I'm glad to hear that. Uh... That is it, man. So, uh, Wayne... Yeah, well, you, you, you can go and play not non-violent games. Um, I do know that there are games rated for uh, epileptic uh, guys with with epilepsy, and uh, one of our good mates is uh, a, an, an an epileptic sufferer, and that's why I bring this up. Um, yeah, Marin, he's a good guy. He's a knife maker. Yeah, his skill through lockdown has just went. Unfreaking believable. Then I've got other mates, also knife makers, that just during lockdown did nothing. Nothing. So 140 fucking days later, not a single blade. Not a single knife during lockdown for 140, blade, uh, 140 days. And these are, are pro makers, right? So obviously they've got a load more money than I do. Uh... Dude, if I win that Xbox box, I would actually start playing games. Seriously. Just the thing just looks cool, man. If you read the specs, that thing is a serious little cruncher. Yeah? A serious little freaking cruncher. Uh nothing like my <laughs> old Xbox. It's just like yeah, we're not gonna go there. Uh that thing is like ancient, man. You have to check the paraffin uh before you actually do anything on it. Uh 
Yeah, man, it's 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 bad. It is really really bad. Uh, but there is medication and the whole thing. Um, so Wayne, good luck, brother. Good luck, man. Uh, okay, so we um, took the scroll off. This is pretty much it. I am gonna literally give you another view of this. Yeah. Done. So this is literally upside down on my bench at the moment. But the camera has flipped the other way around. So that is it. I'm going to set it up so that I can actually do a screen grab of this or import that into the actual video. Yeah, so it sits nicely. Done. I might have to dim some of the, the overhead lights. Uh, hold on. Let me, let me get the dimmers done. Yeah. Am I doing that? Am I brightening it up? Oh, that's brightening it up. Oh, that is dimming it nice and tidy now. The, so that is the the uh, orange. Let me just turn this one down. Oh, I don't want to put it all the way off. See, now the freaking screens. My two big-ass computer screens is now throwing so much. Oh, hold on. Yeah, okay. No. See photographer i am not see this oak over here um is a big ass overhead uh, camera camera light and another one over here big ass camera lights uh, my, my. this thing looks like a freaking space station at the moment man. uh so let's get on to what's well, the green cam uh let's take yeah the green cam i'm going to take that one out hopefully i can uh, give you guys a bit of a view of what this looks like. See, I can't see on the screen. Hold on. Let me pull the screen back <laughs> and I can show you what this entire freaking setup is looking like at the moment. Yeah, so it's just, hold on. This is madness. So look at, it is just freaking camera equipment and rigs. So saying, look at look at all those, yeah. So all of those, it just looks like an upside down spider. That's freaking madness. It is madness. But I am enjoying the tech, though. Yeah. Setting all of this up. That that was uh, fun, man. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. My wife said I should smoke less on camera. So is there anyone? Jack, how's it going, buddy? Uh, you want to join me? Uh, oh, I can't. Sorry. All right, gentlemen, ladies, thank you for popping in. I uh, really appreciate your time that you've spent with us. Yeah. Um, sorry, I didn't do a live stream yesterday. I actually had some admin to do. Um, and obviously, uh, editing the video and all the good things. Tomorrow, I'm teaching class. So tomorrow, there won't be a live stream. There might be a couple of Instagram uh, updates. So follow me at Black Dragon Forge uh, on Instagram for like real. So I do every hour, I do either a story or a post or whatever where I'm at with this or weird stuff that we do at the shop and and at. Yeah. Um, and then the live streams are what's going to happen, yada, yada, yada. Then I take all of that video footage like we have on the live stream, uh, what I'm recording in between live streams, and I take all of that video uh, footage, and then I edit it into a video. Yeah? So if you want to know what's going on and don't want to just wait for the actual video to hit um, on a Thursday or a Friday, um, follow these live sessions, yeah? The quality really suck. Um, we talk crap. I want to bring in some other people uh, into the live stream next week. Um, guys, come and just chat. We'll, we'll grab a couple of knife makers and just tell them to come and hang. Yeah? All right. So that was it. Thank you, uh, Cameron. Hold on. We've got, uh... We've got some more coming. <laughs> Excellent, man. Uh, Cameron, what, what are you saying, buddy? Uh... Yeah, dude. No, it's not, man. It is just... I mean, I'm, I'm literally just hacking shit together here. Literally, they, there's no real skill. That is just... I'm hoping this thing is going to focus this without me pulling over the rig. I don't know if it's going to focus this this close. Yeah, see, see all the dodginess happening there. 
how it's losing. And, and as soon as you get to a section where I've actually started cleaning it up. No, oh, man. Oh, come on. So you can, you can really spend the time and get this perfectly finished and then textured. And, and traditionally, this would have... Uh, let me just grab a marker here. Traditionally, this would have, uh, for instance, a second or a third, well, two little lines going all the way around, nice and spaced, and then you'll have a texture in there or uh, little dots or whatever, um, just to increase the texture on this. Yeah, that's just to make that look a bit better. And you'll also have, for instance, ghost images in the background. So, for instance, uh, I don't know, little curls happening in the background um just to make the texture of the background texture just look a bit better and uh, so you can really spend hours and hours and hours and because there's nothing in the game art this makes it brilliant but i'm not making this too well it is it is so um but you can literally spend i can spend just four weeks just finishing up just the one side of the carving um, it will be absolutely spectacular, spectacular. I can tell you that lot. It's not, not because um, I'm stroking my own ego. It's just pure amount of time that you're throwing against this thing. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, I am limited to uh, 20, no, well, 18, 18 build days. And we're now seven, six, six days in. Um, and that handle kind of scares me, man. So I want to get the head done. I can always go back and refine. Uh, but I need to get the, the majority of this thing hacked up as quickly as possible. Um, thanks, man. But that handle, that that thing, uh, is scaring me, man. Thanks, brother. It's appreciated. <laughs> I like that. All right. So, but that that was it. That screen came again. Um, that was it. Thank you for joining me. Uh, go check out my uh, YouTube channel. Yeah. If you're on YouTube, go and have a look at the video. Um, if you're interested in in this type of thing, two years ago, I did the Broken Spear of Leonidas. That was an epic build. I thoroughly enjoyed that one. Um, and obviously, I, I had a bit more time, um, and that was a six-week build. So I, I really went into detail, man. I really, really did. And uh, the guys from uh, Ubisoft actually sent me a, a prop of the spear, uh, which I still have. Um, it still needs to go up here on on the wall but it's a work in progress yeah um but that's it go and check out those videos um if you can't wait for this one to be finished yeah but anyway look at me red eyes so it happens if you've got cats and you're allergic to them but we like the critters yeah so i need to go and uh, drink some anti -histamine. but anyway ladies and gentlemen have fun enjoy thank you for joining me on uh, this uh well episode of talking crap with the locals have fun enjoy now head off to your shed it's weekend yeah um and go and make something man uh go and do something make something um even if it's just making food if, if that's your thing because making food is that is an art yeah but anyway have fun enjoy and uh, once again thank you for sharing um in my little world yeah thank you for joining us on the, this adventure and go and freaking into the competition man you can't win it if you're not in it that's it. I'm out of here. Have fun.